Right, I'm going to show you how to download and also edit images in paint.net just for use on your website. I have a lot of clients asking me how to edit images so uh, for a free program paint.net is probably one of the best. You could also try the GIMP. Um, this Google search those names but for paint.net I find quite simple. Um, go to the domain name www.pnd.com uh, from here you'll see a check it out at getpaint.net click on this link you'll also see a fair bit of advertising going on over here but just do paint.net version 3 download click on that link click on this mirror link here mirror host download now from .pnd click on that and then you've got your download here you could you could go straight to this domain name .pnd.com slash downloads forward slash pnd.html uh, once you're there you'll see this paint.net download button click on that click OK it'll download to your computer uh, once that is downloaded you can open it and install the program once you've installed the program um, you're ready to rock and roll and it is free so um, you can't really beat that what happens when it opens once you open your software and you have this screen appear and what we're going to do is we're going to uh, find an image and reduce it in file size and dimensions for use on a website file open the reason why we do this is cameras normally take two three megapixel uh, megabyte file sizes and they're very very large no good for putting on a website so what we'll do is select an image um, from here we're going to change the dimensions at the moment oh, you'll see this in a moment what the dimensions are image resize pretty standard you can also crop if you like but we'll resize the image and you'll see here the width is 1024 a lot of cameras this will be in 3000, 2000 mark um, but for a website I find landscape 480 or if it's a portrait image um, 280 width is fine so if we put 480 here it's a landscape image it automatically scales the height to the image and you can also change the resolution to 72 for a website you don't you want your images to be small and file size so you'll see this this changing as you're going along once you've got your width right 480 or 280 you can also change your widths on, on, on inside your website editing program but it's best to do it from an outside program first and we go OK and let's resize that image uh, to 480 by 360 which is fine for what we need you can also crop if you want to from here you select the rectangle tool which I've done there and you can go image crop to selection and that'll crop that image if you want to do that um, if you don't like what you've just done do a control Z and it'll take you back one step you can put text and wording and all sorts of things in there um, it's got some other effects that you can use but for this tutorial it's all about just changing the dimensions and the file size so from here we're going to go to file save as give it a descriptive name for your website and use lowercase all around if it's going onto the onto the web. Um, if you're a gardening site, you want to put, might want to put things like uh, gardening tulips, something that the search engines can relate to with that image, and it'll help with your ranking. It'll help, help a little bit more than having having a um, image from a camera file name, which is normally something like DSC four three two one five six or something like that, which means nothing. Uh, gardening tulips actually means something so if anyone's actually looking for that on the, net, on the net in a search engine you've got a half decent chance of coming up once you've done that you go safe and we're going to change the quality 26.0 kb is actually okay that's not too bad you want to get your images around about this sort of mark a little bit less than that if you can and you do that by adjusting the quality if that was sitting at 100% quality the image is 145 kb which is way too big for the internet so we just drag this down I normally go to about 60% to start with and that's fine that's all we need to do 
So once you get your image between 15 and 30, you're happy with the quality of the image. It's not too blurry. The more you take this down, the blurrier it's going to get, as you can see there, and you don't want to be doing that, unless it's the effect that you want. But for the internet, speed is what you want. So take it to the percentage that you've got and go OK. And that's really all that you need to do for getting an image ready to go to put onto your website. Hope that helps you. Thank you.